Frank Vernon, 38, strangulation. Signs of struggle. Any idea what happened? No. Talk to a couple of the neighbors, though. Not that much. Has uh, CSI been through? Not that I know. Okay, let's take a look around. All right. Got a receipt here. It's from a bar downtown. Got the victim's name on it. Time stamps, uh, 9 p.m. last night. Oh, my pencil. Oh, the timeline. Hey. Jackson. What have we got? Uh, we were able to get the victim's neighbor in, a uh, girl by the name of Rachel Smith. Uh, we also were able to get an old friend of the victim's guy named Daniel Lancaster. They have a rough history, went to school together, and there's a guest falling out. Well, hopefully we can get this over with. Ms. Smith, welcome. I'm Detective Jackson. This is Detective Barker. Uh, we were wanting to ask you about your neighbor, Frank Vernon. Did you know him at all? Um, a little bit. Um, we just kind of saw each other in passing. We lived next to each other, but we didn't really interact. Okay, were you home around 11 o'clock last night? Yeah, I don't really get out much. I just hang out with my cats. Okay, did you hear any weird noises or see something strange? Um, actually, now that I think about it, um, I heard a loud, like, bang or crash. Maybe a drop something in his apartment, it sounded like. Or... About what time was that? Uh, like 11, maybe 11.15 around that time. Okay. I'm Detective Barker, this is Detective Jackson. So you knew Frank Vernon? Yeah, yeah, pretty well actually. We went to school together and I didn't really much care for him. Not much at all. Where did the fallout first begin? He made it a, a, a grand point that he had done better on a project on me, or than me. He happened to just kind of take his project, wave it in my face and said, you'll never be this good. And at that point, I decided that, screw this guy. Have you seen each other recently? <laughs> no, I never cared to see the guy again. Why, are you, why am I being asked this? Why are you two here? In fact, why are there two of you in the first place? Two is greater than one. He was murdered in his apartment last night. Where were you around 11? Home. Anyone to verify that statement? Why do you care? Answer the question. No, I was at home alone. All right, that's all I'm saying. Okay, thank you for your time. We we'll in touch. I think we've got a close case. Been on late, Pastor. Night over. Sounds good, I guess. You wanna go get a drink? Uh, no, I'm good. It's been a long day. I'm just gotta head home. All right. See you. Ms. Parker, hi. Uh, my name's Detective Jackson. I, I work with your sister. Um, you guys live together, is that correct? Okay, would you happen to know where she was the night of February 10th? Do you know what the location of that bar was? Yeah, the address would be fine. Great, thank you very much. You too.